My name is Annalena Fröhlich, and I originally started as a musician, as a pianist. I studied music, or let's say I, I studied one year after high school and then I quit school because I was more interested in a bigger picture, like not only sound, but also performance, space, colors, atmospheres, like uh, the big picture. So I quit school when I was 20, and from this moment on I was um, like making an autodidact formation. I did a lot of different kinds of workshops and tried to find my own masters. Uh, I watch a lot of tutorials and I, like, I'm a self-made artist, multidisciplinary. I work in the fields of video, sound, movement, and uh, scenography colors. I'm not a scenographer, but I create spaces, like I create rooms or... I started long time ago to work with projection and to put myself in the projection to create with very simple means um, a room. It was also in the beginning maybe a question of money and of not having a big space and uh, to put myself in a video projection it was kind of the, the let's say the most practical way also I could do it everything by my own. So I started to create with light coming from the projection and the picture that I choose to create an uh, environment. And in the beginning of this work, the disappearance of green, it was the, um, the subject or the, the interest of the, yeah, the disappearance of nature and also the, the recreation that we are trying to do as human beings to recreate the nature digitally. For me it's a very poor, like poor attempt to to recreate this big green in a very um, clean and in a very cold way. So this was maybe the, and actually I was also interested in, um, in the, the, the color green. I was interested how can I survive as an artificial character in a self-created artificial room. a narrative artist. I don't create narratives. I always create more like state of beings and with sound and with uh, atmosphere to yeah to make such a state of being visible or like um, experienceable. I don't, I'm not sure if you can say that but that you can experience actually a state of being. Then I stumbled up in um, a little interview of Werner Herzog 
he is um, a German cinema director and a very inspiring person and he made this uh, insane interview when he was talking about the film uh, he shot with Kin Kinski in, um, in the jungle in the Amazonas I think and uh, so this interview is about the, the jungle and about the, the savage aspect of nature and that we have to become humble in front of this like this overwhelming chaos and overwhelming he, he calls it overwhelming misery of course we are challenging nature itself and it hits back it just hits back that's all and that's grandiose about it but it is the same misery that is all around us the trees here are in misery and the birds are in misery. I don't think they, they sing, they just screech in pain. I work in a very broad field in the underground and also in institutions. And it's very important for me that it's not only one, one layer. I never felt so in ease with just being in one, one thing. So at the moment, I'm creating a lot for others, like music. I do music for theater pieces, for dance pieces, or films. And I do a mix, like I'm also DJing, mixing. And I work also my very own project, sometimes with partners. I have some collaborations I work with since a long time. And when I do my own work, it's always between uh, visual movement and sound. I can never separate. A condensed room like this weird like acoustic also and uh, basically I'm always interested in places that are in between something that it's like not a place that you actually spend time but then it's really interesting to actually spend time in it and to see how it feels in this ephemer uh, uh, no it's not ephemer but it's like more um, in, intermediate, intermediate, um, mm. a passage, like normally it's a passage and uh, now I spend some time in it. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy to be part of this project and uh, in times like this, I think the only thing that actually we can do at the moment is to just be in a creative everyday mode that we don't lose uh, the creation. I think we all go through this collective trauma and we have to stick together. And this initiative is very important to not lose each other and to really, um, yeah, to not lose the state of creativity because I think this is the la mort, quoi.